And I'm Vinny. And you're watching Message Mondays. <laughs> so this week um, has been a good week. This week has been a good week. I I got to work this week and uh, I got to experience some craziness. And sometimes that's what the the restaurant life calls for. And sometimes it can be fun and it can be stressful. But it's just, in the end, it's really satisfying. Yeah, and I've had a busy week. I am, I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but I am actually a private vocal teacher, and um, I teach piano, and it's been a busy week because I'm getting ready. I have a recital coming up in December for my students, and so that's, we're starting the process of that, getting everybody to learn their music, and um, I'm actually almost full of students all throughout the week, so that's a good problem to have. And, um, yeah, so it's just been a typical week, but we want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, what we did over the weekend. So, this week, we had some things go on. On uh, Wednesday night, we have the Bible study for men over at a uh, house here in town. And then on Thursday night is a night that me and a couple other guys from the church I go to, we play at a Salvation Army for a Celebrate Recovery. And then... Uh, Friday night, I was asked to give my testimony at another Celebrate Recovery here in town, and that was that was really awesome, and I really enjoyed the opportunity to get to share what the Lord has done in my life, and what the Lord has done in my heart, and how He's changed all of that, and Saturday morning, we had a men's breakfast at the church, and I was able to hear someone else's testimony when it came to... Uh, uh, similar similar parts, but a completely different story. And to see how God really transformed and re-energized and recreated this guy's family and their lifestyle and himself, only God can do that. You know, and I've heard people say, all you need is the power of this to change. And man... Um, there's nothing in my wildest dreams that I could have thought of when, um, when I thought of something, I, I just can't do things with the power of my mind. Uh, because if that was the case, I'd be perfect right now and I'm not. So that's why I, and I believe her, and that's why I believe all of us, we need Christ because he's the one who can change you. Right. Not by me. If, if I was able to change myself... And that was a, I believe if I was able to change myself and if that was a, like a universal truth or something, I would, there would be no reason for Jesus and call that a bold statement. But if I didn't need Jesus, then I could do everything in myself and I can't. God doesn't just do for me the things that I can't do because I can't do anything apart from him. His word tells me that when I was younger if you don't mind, I'm going to share some of my testimony right now. You mind? I grew up in a family that was perfect. seemed pretty picture perfect, and it, it was. I mean, the, the mother, the dad, the brother, the sister, we lived in a house together, and, and life was good. And uh, some, some things just led to another, and I, in my heart, I didn't feel accepted by certain people and I started finding acceptance in alcohol. Alcohol really fueled me at, in the beginning. It really made me feel comfortable with myself. I felt very um, excited about life, I thought, and I also felt uh, really I didn't have to feel, actually. I really, it made me not care about things going on around me. And that's not a good place to be in at a young age, to, to be totally disregarding life around you and only worrying about yourself and the way that you feel and and the way that you can get by. And uh, drinking led to smoking weed, and within a couple months of smoking weed, I had dibbled in uh, methamphetamine. And within a year of that, I started using methamphetamine on a regular basis, and I was 15 years old using methamphetamine as as I got older I started using methamphetamine every day stealing from my parents and my grandparents and my friends and and anything I could get 
to be able to get money so I can get drugs, so I can feel better about myself, I was going to do it. <clears throat> so now just trying to ex feel accepted by somebody or feeling accepted by this drug, I, I started becoming very dependent on the way this drug made me feel. And I started going to jail, had bad relationships with girls, and just was completely a manipulator and a user. And when I had come out to the valley from the Bay Area for the first time, I had went to some some places. Uh, I moved into sober living, um, and I. I learned a, a little bit about Jesus and I learned a, about how you can be free from active addiction. From there, some things happened that I didn't like and I went back into my addiction and relapsed after six months of sobriety and after that I had experienced the lowest point in my life of addiction. And I weighed 145 pounds sitting on the side of the street at my wit's end out of my mind and need to change and God showed up I saw God in a, in a way that I had never seen him before and I went to jail for a couple months and during that jail time I had given myself over to a new lifestyle and that new lifestyle has been amazing ever since I haven't used any drugs or alcohol um, since then, that was August 5th of 2012. And also within that time period had quit smoking cigarettes and had quit chewing tobacco and all, and it's nothing I had done on my own power because I wanted to quit smoking cigarettes a long time ago. And the power of my mind wasn't enough to do it, no matter how hard I wanted to do it. And it took the life giving of power of Christ and it took actually believing and trusting that life giving power can change those things. God devises ways to get us back to him when we've been separated. And I don't say that off of a off of a hinkering or a thought that that's what he does. Uh, his word says that. All of us must die eventually. Our lives are like water spilled out on the ground which cannot be gathered up again. But God does not just sweep life away. Instead, he devises ways to bring us back when we have been separated from him. So, if you ask me what one of my favorite verses are, uh, that one is one right there. I hold that very true because when I first came across that, it was, it blew me away because that's exactly what he had done to me. My story isn't as bad as some people's. And when I hear the story that was told, this testimony of the Lord that was told on Saturday morning, if you had put our stories together, his would have looked a lot worse than mine. But God saved us both, no matter how far down the line we had went. I could have probably been to the certain point that he had been at and experienced some more of the same things that he experienced, but it doesn't matter if you've only experienced a little bit of darkness or a lot of darkness, God's going to save you the same way. God will save your soul. Some things happened after that. Um, it wasn't just a, I got saved or God showed himself to me and I'm free from addiction. Um, some things after that have to happen a little bit of action I'm not saying that I, my salvation comes from the things that I do but if I want to get to know God more I have to do certain things to know God more if I want to know what God's voice sounds like I have to read the word and I've talked about this a few weeks ago about you know being a follower of Christ yet not reading your Bible um, I wholeheartedly believe that if I want to get to know who my creator is, I got to read who he is. This word right here is who he is. And it, it shows the way, he's, it shows his character from beginning to end. 
and reading this is to me is the most important part of your walk you follow him you read who he is and then when you hear him you know what he sounds like and that has been the driving force these last couple years so if well, I want to leave you with this. If you have a Bible and you've really never picked it up before and you have some questions or you need to know where to read or where to start and you don't know where to start, it's okay. Don't be intimidated because I've been there too. Just send us a note, send us a comment. And um, if there's any, any more songs you would like us to do, uh, please let us know. So that's his, that's his story. And um, we just wanted to kind of share a little bit of that with you guys just so you guys can kind of get to know us and who we are. So hope you guys have a great week. We're going to be posting a cover um, this Friday, so be be sure to um, check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Um, yeah, have a good week. Be encouraged. Thank God you. God changes lives. Yes, he does. Amen. Bye. Bye guys.